sort of tips do you have for him, or, or how does he come to your questions? You know, how, how's that process going? Um, really just being okay with messing up. I mean, I did it last year. I was a senior. It was, it was hard for me. Um, okay. So like, just be okay with like messing stuff up because it's two completely like different things. Like, they're not kind of remotely the same, really. So like, it's, it's it's difficult to learn two positions who are so far and vastly different. Um, so I just tell him be okay with messing up. Like. Just keep trying, keep going hard, and he does. So I saw, I saw that you really need to be honest. So as a freshman, how's he doing then? Like if you said, if it's a senior, it was hard. Like mm -hmm. how do you think he's doing for a freshman? Like he's doing good. He's doing a great job. I think he he shows up every day to practice, to every game, uh, plays hard. Um, I mean, there's gonna be stuff like obviously he messes up on like coverages, like close, like little closeouts or things like that. Just that comes with like time and experience of learning like the game. So I think I think he's doing perfect for, for where he's at. Do you see how this team is coming together? And being a little better team than we were even a month ago. In what way do you see that? In what way? Um, I'd just say we're more connected. Uh, we're playing a little more connected. Uh, I think we're getting more complete games than we have in the past. We, I don't think we've got a full complete game yet, but I think we're getting more closer and closer to having more holistic complete games. For sure. Kind of, kind of building off of just what you just said. I mean, what, what have you learned about this team over the last few weeks, or I guess we're two months into the season, um, just with all the battle tested that you guys have gone through? Um, I'd just say that we don't give up. I mean, we've been behind in, in games that we should have been winning um, by a lot, and I think, I think we just we continue to fight no matter what the circumstances. We're going to play until the, till the, till the buzzer goes off, so I think that, for the most part, just, you know, our ability to keep showing up every day. Um, I mean, we have people place expectations of a like, national championship on you and you're not meeting those expectations like a lot of people like most people will just be like okay like, we're, we're cool with that but like we still show up every day we're still trying to get better every day we're still trying to do our best so we can achieve that goal so I say that for the most part you look at the back going back to college what difference is there on the offense you're going it seems like you the four you're doing a lot more base on but it's not the front you see it yourself Mm -hmm. He's got a different skill set for that. Yeah. Um, I think really with Cohen, like, I don't think either of it matters, to be honest. Like, when you're, at, when you're that athletic, like, as long as he can get one dribble and, like, get into the painted area, like, I think he can score on anyone, to be honest. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, offensively, like, shooting is going to come there with time. Just as he has his here, he works on it more. But, like, as far as, like, being able to drive baseline, being able to drive middle, I'd take him anytime driving, no matter where it is. Knowing you're 0 and 2 going to the Trump Kenny Card, Big Ten Kenny, does that add urgency or focus at all to how you guys approach going going to it? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, we lost we lost our first two. We don't want to continue to keep losing them. So, I mean, we gonna come in with a, a different mindset and a different approach. Uh, but I mean, not just that. Like we we want to win the Big Ten. Uh, I mean, it obviously looks like a long shot right now, but like. I mean, for us, that's that's our goal. That's something that we talked about at the beginning of the year. So we're gonna come come to the next couple of games and be ready to go. How have you all tried to keep Jeremy connected when you know he can't compete with his Um, I honestly don't think like as a team we have to do much to keep him connected. Like just the type of person that Jeremy is. Like he uh, like he's showing up to every film. Mm -hmm. He hasn't missed a film. He hasn't like we have meetings. He's in the meetings like. He does a great job just making sure that he's around. Like he still talks to us all the time. Like mm -hmm. it's not the same as it was, obviously, with him being in practices and on the court. But I mean, he still we still feel his presence every day. So. With Penn State, I mean, it, it, this isn't like a normal prep when you have a complete roster reset, a new coach. I guess how is that like, maybe different? How much different are they from a year ago? Um, they're a lot different. I think they still have some of the same pieces, but um, I mean, with the transfer portal, like. That could be that could be everyone really like a completely different team last year, and they got a, a bunch of new guys this year, a lot of transfers. Um, but I think I think they have a lot of good talented pieces, so I think it'll be an interesting game. I think they're a good team for sure. Is it better now though? Like coach talked about game, you like you didn't know anything about that first game. Now you can actually look at them this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think so. How, how, I mean, good. I think it's about 1,000 games. You think they got 13 games. I mean, it seems like an identity is already formed. Mm -hmm. yeah. for when you scout a team. Yeah. I think, I think that just helps, not, not just as a scout, but as everybody in general. Like, we have long terms of, like, whole game, like, games we watch for each person. So, like, 
I think I think it just helps everybody in general, to be honest. Like, it just helps you get a little more of a feeling for like what people like to do, their tendencies, you know, where they get their baskets, you know, things like that. Thanks, Mike. All right.